Hold on to your Pidgeys, there's some news for Pokemon Go. Apparently, uh, for Thanksgiving, they are doing a double experience points. They're doing a double experience points weekend. Or week. I think it lasts about a week, starting Thanksgiving. You get double experience and double um, Stardust. Which is super exciting, but it does mean if you have a crap ton of Pidgeys, hold off for a few days before evolving them so you can take full advantage of the double experience points. Additionally, uh, they rolled out a surprise update last night. It seems to have been a database update where certain Pokemon get serious CP nerfs and buffs. Um, I logged in and found that my Arcanine had gone down about a hundred levels as did my Vile Plume and Victory Bow, but oddly enough, my Evolutions went up. It seems like they also, it seems they bumped up a lot of Pokemon that are single stage Pokemon that don't evolve to or from anything to make them viable or competitive. I noticed a lot of Tauros went way up in levels, same with Pinsers and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, one thing, though, is they seem to have buffed Pokemon that already are dominating gems. Uh, Dragonite, Charizard, despite the fact that they nerfed Venusaur and Blastoise, they buffed Charizard, which is already powering through most of the gems in my area. They also buffed the Evolutions, which, fine for Flareon and Jolteon, but Vaporeon already was a bit OP. I know they've already nerfed it in the past, but still. Um, it's just some strange decisions. I am happy they finally buffed up Gengar and Alakazam. A lot of third, like three-stage Pokemon that require a lot of effort to level up. But it is still strange and baffling that they buffed Pokemon that are already dominating gyms if their goal is to have a little more diversity in the, you know, gym scene. I don't want you... You would think they wouldn't want you to have to have a Dragonite or Charizard to, <coughs> to control a gym. Uh, anyway, that's about it. Um, oh, one more thing. One big thing. They actually do... They put um, data in the game for Ditto. Um, they put data in the game for Ditto and his transform attack, so he should be showing up soon. There's also placeholder values in there for legendaries, or not legendaries, uh, shiny Pokemon. As well as temporary placeholders for Gen 2. So, I look forward to Gen 2 probably dropping around Christmas, I would think. What with all these, you know, updates and preparation for it. Anyway, that's all for now. Just thought I'd get something up and out for y'all, and happy Thanksgiving. Or, should I say, Thanksgiving. Get it? Get it? Because our logo is a tank, and our, our motto is get behind the tank, and it's funny because it sounds like thank, but it's not really because it's... It's Thanksgiving instead of th You're Thanksgiving. You're so funny! About the dark side, drop you in the far side. Over here is war time delivery. We got more shine. Battery on recharge. I don't even breathe off. This gonna hit the streets and have you jerking like a retard. Over in the V park, thinking this is sweet, huh? Pimp turn the same hood rat right into a diva. Bump it in your speaker, Benzie or the beamer. Run across the stage and have you screaming like a streaker. The Reaper, make it pop like a tweaker. With no fuss, so we'll make it pop like a tweeter. And you can twist.